Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. Welcome. This is Steve Meisinger. I'll be the presenter today for FX Options Terminology. I'm a Director of Education at the International Securities Exchange. I spent uh, almost 30 years in the business trading options on the floors of three different exchanges for two decades. And I've been with the ISC for the last eight years and uh, spent a lot of time educating investors in the uses of options. And today we'll talk specifically on currency options. So we'll go through the basic terms of currency options. This will take about 30 or 40 minutes. And then I'll answer any questions you might have. Uh, we at the ISC are committed to options education. We have classes each and every week. Normally, they're Tuesdays. In fact, this week, we have Steve Nissan with us if you're interested in candlesticks and how you might use those in the currency markets. He's an expert on candlesticks. He's written numerous books. So you can please uh, sign up for that and uh, at fxoptions.com. So without uh, further ado, we can just get started. Options, of course, have risk. So I would urge you to take some more classes on options if you're not fully versed in options. Um, uh, there are many places to go. Uh, the first place might be fxoptions.com to learn more. Uh, another great site is uh, Options Education. And you go to www.optionseducation.org. Any of the examples that I give this morning will not include taxes, margin, or commissions. Those are very important factors, so please uh, keep those in mind prior to entering any options transaction. Now, you can trade these right through uh, an equity options broker, but again, uh, today's class, uh, I'll, I, will not making, I will not be making any recommendations or uh, I will not give you any specific uh, situation. So you should go out and do some more uh, research and uh, come to some more classes. So today we'll talk about what are options, calls and puts, rights and obligations, opening and closing of options, uh, premiums, strike prices, intrinsic and extrinsic options, in, at, and out of the money options, expiration, settlement, exercise, assignment. I'm going to go through all this underlying instrument, talk a little bit about ISCFX options, debits and credits, and volatility. I see that we have attendees from all over the world, which is great. And options need not be overly complex. Some say that options are so difficult. I think that it's just a matter of learning. Uh, in fact, options are great because they allow you to limit your risk. And that's what uh, life's about, managing your risk. Question about getting a copy of this presentation. Uh, this will be archived at www.isc.com forward slash archives. I think it's backslash archives. Uh, anyway, um, you can get that at the ISC uh, at fxoptions.com. Just go to the archives and check it out. Options have existed for many, many years, if not thousands of years. Now, we in the U.S. have been trading listed options since 1973, but options go back to mercantile ships and hundreds of years ago when a ship would leave a port and the people that owned the ship would not really never know if it was going to come back. What do you think they would do? Well, they would probably buy puts on the ship, on the holdings in that ship, the value of the ship. And um, other people would, that if they had the capital, would uh, quite possibly sell puts to bring in income. So that's where we started with options hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And now we've branched out listed options in many, many different asset classes. So options give you that ability to uh, select the asset class you want to trade and limit your risk. So what does this word option mean? Well, if you look at a dictionary, act of choosing, the power of freedom to choose. Uh, if you start to look at it from insurance, from the insurance uh, perspective, you'll see that it's uh, a manner in which payments are to be made or credit to the policyholder. 
Uh, if you look at it from the financial markets, it's an exclusive right usually obtained from a premium. Obviously, uh, someone that's buying an option is paying a premium, and the person that's selling the option, what they are targeting is income, but now they're taking on obligations. So you have to decide. You want to be a buyer? You want to be a seller? I give a lot of classes. I present uh, many, many uh, seminars each year, and uh, there's always a debate. Are you better to be a buyer or be a seller? And it really comes down to personal choice. It comes down to risk and reward. Do you think the risk is worth the reward? So that's what you need to think about. Options are available on a lot of different instruments. So today we'll talk about uh, options as they pertain to currencies. But you can trade options on equities, indexes, equity indexes, ETFs. They're all available. And there are even other assets. Obviously, you can trade options on gold, silver, uh, a lot of the commodities. Um, there are many, many uh, different instruments out there that you can trade options on. So once you understand the basics, uh, there really are so many opportunities available for you. So what is an option? It's a right but not an obligation to buy or sell an asset for a certain period of time. It's just a choice, and it allows you to control, let's say if we're talking about currencies, a foreign currency pair for a limited time. One of the major advantages is if you're really, really wrong, you could only, you're only going to lose what you paid for the premium. So it's, it's a bit different than trading in the spot market because the spot market, um, you have unlimited losses. Now, I know you might use stop loss orders, but options give the ability to have sort of an embedded stop loss, meaning that um, you could only lose what you paid for the option. And there are lots of different option strategies. We'll just briefly touch... Uh, one or two of the strategies today, but uh, please come back to fxoptions.com, the webinars that we have, and uh, you'll see that there are, we've had many, many classes on the different option strategies as they pertain to currencies. So let's talk about the options. We have calls and puts. Calls are going to give you the ability to control the asset, the right to buy the U.S. dollar if it is a dollar-based. We, we trade options on dollar-based and dollar quotes. So we might trade the U.S. dollar against, let's say, the Canadian dollar. And we might also trade options, let's say, on the euro versus the U.S. dollar. So you have to sort of think about it. And what is, what's the base currency? And then that's the way I, the way I teach it is you look at the base currency and you decide what your view of that is, and then that's how you determine if you are looking at calls or puts. So if you were bullish on the base currency, you'd be probably looking to buy calls, or you could actually be selling puts. But calls give you the right to control the asset, to buy it, and uh, puts give the ability to the uh, ability to control the selling of the asset. So these options only exist for a certain period of time lots of different expiration months. Uh, there's no right month to trade. The shortest term months give you the most leverage. So if you want to take more risk, you might be trading a short term option. Uh, if you want to take a little bit less risk, you might be buying a uh, second or third or fourth. We trade options all the way out to not, you know, nine months or so. That's all up to you. So you have buyers and sellers in each trade there is a buyer and a seller. You might be trading with an individual investor. You might be trading with a market maker. You might be trading with an institution. Uh, but you'll never be trading with the exchange. We at the exchange do not trade against your orders. Uh, and again, that's, uh, I think, one of the primary benefits here at the IEC uh, versus, let's say, a spot trading uh, mechanism is that um, you, you'll never be trading with the exchange. You're trading with other participants. We just offer you the ability to trade at the exchange. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary. Visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.